15 inch 86 blackout with the bad Larry. 30 9 33 9 38 9 27 this stuff is about two to three dollars a round so we gonna only do i ain't got no more of this stuff right here but we're gonna do um four of these then we're gonna do four of these i wish i had something else to shoot with them but we'll get some more later but this stuff 50, down there, fifty dollars a box. That's what this looks like. Eight point six. Five oh three. Three. Oh no, it looked like it jammed. This is the first time trying this ammo. I've never tried this one before. Yeah, I never tried. I don't, that's that'd be slow as hell. Five oh three. Yeah, it did get bent. I mean, like that. Yeah, I don't know about this one right here. Yeah, ain't sound right. Yeah. And then one of them got bent, and then it's the other one said five hundred feet per second. All right, so after checking it out, the round didn't even make it out. So I don't know what that's about. Uh, I probably won't shoot no more of that in here. Like I said, I shot the other stuff, no issues. But uh, this one, that first one was 500 feet per second. I don't think that was enough. Maybe is uh, maybe that's designed for a shorter barrel. But uh, I'm gonna look up some stuff, but that, that's what definitely happened. So we just gonna stop that video right now because that was all the eight six I had, so. That was the 285. This one. This one right here. No issues. Even in my first mag video, I ran all of that. So we just gonna stop for right now and um I'm gonna check out some stuff and see if what barrel limb this was designed for. But yeah, it's definitely stuck, and I'm gonna have to get that out. Do your thumbprint. All right, so I took off this for my suppressor. So this bullet almost made it out, but I've been banging on it. So um, I got to get a heavier hammer. This is like a little gun hammer. This ain't that strong. So I need to get a heavier hammer to knock this out. But it is definitely hard to come out. It ain't just coming out easy. Got it out. Had to get a real hammer with some weight on it. That gun hammer is not not that heavy. So I had to put a rag in there, not to scratch it when the pole go around and when I'm hitting it. So this gave it some clearance to come out, but took some hits. But we got it out. So I contact Gorilla Ammunition and um, asked them. What was the feet per second that uh, these rounds supposed to do? And they said they were supposed to do way more than 500. So 
Um, they had me send the ammo back. I already sent it back, and they're going to replace it. Replace that ammo. Um, the website I got it from, they said um, the older ammo, which this is, was designated for certain barrels. So the new ammo, updated ammo, it doesn't matter what barrel length you got. So it's always good to pay attention because I've had experience with this before when a round got stuck in there. So that's why I just stopped shooting. I didn't shoot another one. But if something ain't right, always stop, check the gun. I was just hoping that I didn't get a baffle strike. So because it made it right to the end of the barrel. So that first round was 500 feet per second. That second round had to be a lot less. Uh, this is a 16 inch barrel. And um, when you go to their website, it says what it works for. Because some ammo doesn't go for certain barrels. You know, with the rifle in and all of that. So, check that out. That's cool. It's supposed to be like around, I think he said about 900 or 1,000. They, they contact super fast. So, uh, good customer service. Um, uh, I got this out. I just got to want to check my rifle and make sure I didn't scratch nothing, but I kept the pole pretty solid. Like I said, I put a rag in between the pole so it wouldn't flex around when I'm hitting it and scratch any of the rifling, but you can see some of the rifling marks on the bullet right here. So that was the 8.6 Blackout. Um, we're going to do an update as soon as the new ammo come. And... um but yeah, if you ever get a stoppage on the gun, just stop, check it. Because on the second shot, you can see so much gas flew out the back and it was crazy loud. So none of the gas pressure and sound could come out the front, mainly the gas. So if we would have shot another round, probably would have definitely had an explosion somewhere here. Or, you know, right here. So luckily we stopped. But like I said, I've already experienced stuff like this happen before with a handgun and the round didn't go all the way through and it was stuck in there. So we'll do an update video once we um, get the new ammo in. It should be on its way. And we're going to run that. And by that time, the other ammo will be here. And we'll shoot some more with this 8.6 Blackout.